Hello, 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 and happy Motivational Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Happy Motivational every day, but it is Wednesday today, so this is your midweek Wednesday. So Motivational every single time I upload a video trying to motivate everybody. Hello, Cancers. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I know you are because that's the intention you said. Let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. The energy has already been cleared. I'm talking to Cancer, whatever Cancer is in your chart. If your Cancer, your sun sign is Cancer, I'm talking to you. Moon, rising, Venus, whatever Cancer is in your chart, I am talking to you. So please take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below, but there is no pressure. Hopefully you can get everything you need from not just this reading, but watching some of the other videos that's in your bird chart. Cancer. So let's go. Cancer, we are moving towards a um, the solar eclipse, which is a very, very powerful time. And I want to help you all get there. I really, really want to help you all get there to that very powerful um, time in your lives. Yes. All right. Aquarius. Now, I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at Aquarius, right? Because I'm looking at the last quarter moon in Aquarius. So it's not by mistake when I say Aquarius. So listen, here we have the three of swords and we also have the seven of swords i want to make sure you all can see these two the three and then the seven of swords somebody had their heart broken right and but the energy was exposed right and something about that energy was exposed and we're going to keep it high vibrational because again no matter how bad it was your heart is on the mend right? So you could have Aquarius in your chart, but somebody is getting real serious about some very powerful changes and, and directing your energy outward. Right now, see, you all are, um, because you all are water signs, you think about water reflective, you're reflective. So whatever energy you were giving, you were also, you also, whatever energy you were receiving, you were also giving back, right? So that's why a lot of you all didn't understand at first, like, why do I feel drained or why do I feel moody or negative? Because that's the energy that you all were receiving. Like you could walk into a room and the whole room, the energy is just giving you low vibrational and that's the energy you may have given off. But now that you're, you understand what your purpose is, Cancer, remember your life purpose is to find your tribe and develop your your central role as the caregiver within it. So your life is revolving around some form of family, whether it's personal or professional, right? And so now that you know what your position is, you don't have a problem with cutting these energies off because you've had you've had a lot of these energies around your life, your whole life, right? Manipul master manipulators, liars, um, deceivers, cheaters, maybe even in your family, even if they weren't cheating on you, just them being in your space, people creating stories and gaslighting and that kind of thing. Now you all can spot it right away and you don't have a problem severing ties with it, right? So essentially you healed your own broken heart by just crying out, you know, to source and to God. Also, uh, this is also going to help you in your love lives too. Um, cancer because when you look back at your love life and you start to see that there's a pattern of behavior that you were nurturing certain types of energies right a lot of them were giving you even if they came off at first like their their behavior at first came off as nice and kind and this kind of thing or whatever they were showing you one side of themselves right but also they had another side of themselves that came out that again you all are human lie detectors. So for a person to try to lie to a cancer, good luck with that, seriously, because it's going to come out. It's, it's going to come out. You're going to find it, right? And so again, you all had to go through this. I don't know. It's, you, actually, you've been going through this training process your whole life to get you to where you are right now is being able to spot things right away. But in the past, you would have continued nurturing it because you're divine feminine by default. But again, this is your time to now sever ties with it. And that's what this solar eclipse is really, really about. It's a very powerful change in everybody's life. This is on the 30th of this month. And the same day, we have a new moon in Taurus. So somebody is starting to get ready to be very careful about um, and this could be any sign, by the way. The reason I mentioned Aquarius, like I said before, because as of today, we are still very much last quarter moon in Aquarius. So somebody is going to be using technology to do more research online, like how to spot a, spot a narcissist, how to spot a gaslighter, how, what is gaslighting, what, what are the, you know, how, uh, just all, you all are going to be doing all kinds of research to help yourselves in other words. Right. And then making some changes, severing some ties with some people because big money is coming across your path because 
you this is what you're making room for you're making room for perfect synergy in the workplace whether it is your business or whether you're working for somebody else or this you know have to a business and working for somebody else but i'm also seeing a lot of growth in your spirit and i'm also seeing big money coming across your path so naturally people are going to feel some kind of way when you actually take the action of severing ties with them first but remember going around and around and around circles it kept breaking your heart kept causing the wounds to be deeper kept causing you to cry out the number three, see this number three right here? The number three, the image of the number three is two wide open half circles facing to the left, gathering inspiration from the past and remolding it to manifest a new creation, right? Threes are born to inspire. Threes are born to inspire, right? So threes can cast a spell just by being delightful, motivating others to act through their passionate enthusiasm their happiness, their positive mindset, and optimistic attitude. So out of all of this pain was birth, your happiness and your joy and your peace and being very optimistic moving forward. Yes, I can spot a manipulator while I'm, sit while I'm sitting on the phone with them before I ever even meet them face to face. I can spot one. I can spot a gaslighter, a narcissist right over the phone before I ever even say yes or no to meeting them for lunch or dinner or breakfast somewhere. It doesn't even matter. And once I notice it, because again, your energy is very magnetic. You are a human lie detector. It's a very sweetheart energy. You're like, nope, I'm protecting my heart. I'm just going to go with the childlike faith. I'm going with my childlike faith. I'm protecting the little girl or the little boy in me. And if I can't trust you and I'm talking to you over the phone, because new love is coming across your life, Cancer. But if I can't trust you over the phone, oh, no. No, ma'am and no, sir. Will I be meeting you for anything, anywhere, at any time? It's not happening. I will, I will kindly say, you know, it was a pleasure talking to you. But I kind of get a feeling just by this phone call that we're probably not even compatible. So let's not even waste each other's time. I see a lot of you all getting a Google voice number. So when you get out there to start dating again, whether it's online, that's the only number that they have. So no harm, no foul when you decide to cut them off so you can move on so that you can make room for your new person coming in your space. You won't feel bad at all. Won't lose any sleep. You don't have to block out any numbers, no nothing, because they call in the Google voice number and you're setting it to they have to announce themselves <laughs> before you even pick up the phone. So yes. Lots of changes coming down the pike. Powerful changes. King of Cups. Somebody is still very compassionate. Somebody, but but again, your first mode is to ascend to your highest frequency so that you can hear what God in you says. What is God telling you about this person? You talking about faith directly from source. That's where somebody is right now. Somebody is getting faith directly from source. Like, mm-mm. I'm a sweetheart. I'm a very nice person. I am determined to find the right person in my life. I'm determined to be wealthy. I am the desperate part of your tenacity. I am determined. And the only way I can do that is to start taking action. If I feel even one time you're being manipulative, whether you know what you're doing or not, I don't need to stick around to meet your family. I don't need to stick around to, you know, a pattern of behavior. I only need one phase. We got eight major moon phases in a cycle. That's in a 28 to 30 to 31 day period. I only need one phase to see if you're manipulative. And if you are, I'm not wasting my time. It's a whole new cancer in town. <laughs> I love it. Happy midweek Wednesday. Yes. Three of swords again. Somebody's had their heart broken so many times and so disappointed in so many ways. Like somebody just stabbed daggers in your heart. This may be your hardest part of moving forward to get your stuff. This is what we're talking about you um, moving towards this, this, this new moon in Taurus, which is on the same day as this solar eclipse. Very powerful changes are going to have to happen. You're going to have to go back and look through your phone and look through any part of your life and see if there's anybody who broke your heart. Don't give them any more excuses because I'm telling you, they're holding on to secrets. They're liar. They're manipulative, manipulative, whatever. Move on so that you can make room for your new love coming into your life, right? Money has never been a stranger to cancer because not only are you all the, mo the money sign, the mother sign, but you're also the money sign, right? So the mother and money sign is for cancer. So again, it's just that heartbreak of constantly trying to over nurture people who just have, they have issues themselves. So again, that may be your most difficult part is just severing ties with your past so that you can welcome new love into your life. Then if you're currently in a happy, healthy relationship, whether it's a friendship, romantic or whatever, then I'm not, that part, I'm not talking to you. 
But if you're not and you're scared to move forward because it's, well, you know, I really love this person. We have kids together. I thought I was going to have, you know, I thought I was going to be with this person for life. All of those things. I'm telling you, it's a very powerful time. It's time where a lot of people are really winning. Trust me, I'm getting the text messages. There are people who didn't think they were going to get increases on their job, didn't think a check was going to be in the mail, didn't think they were going to meet their new person, but it wasn't until they had to sever ties with some things in the past so they can create space to make room for this new stuff coming their way, new blessings. I am grace. I am centered. I am clear in my mind. I expect the best. That's right. Here we have the fruit of surrender is patient grace. There you go, cancers. That's right. Let's see what else we got going on here. So yeah, that three of swords came out twice. That lets me know that your heart was directly attached to the the allowing yourselves to continue continue nurturing master manipulators was absolutely messing with your money, right? So no, I see somebody today, the cancer you are today, mm -mm, fully tapped into that divine masculine energy. Nope. You're looking at the bigger picture. Somebody is ready for expansion. Somebody's ready to expand, expand, expand their closet, their wallet, their love life. You know, somebody is tossing out a bigger net because they're like this greater things out. Why am I even continuing to deal with a master manipulator or manipulators when there's more people out there on the planet I can connect with? Like, why am I even torturing myself with this anymore? Why am I keep letting this person mess up my money? Crying so hard, I can't even go to work. I'm so upset I can't even concentrate at work. That project that I was getting ready to start or that YouTube channel or whatever I was getting ready to start, now I can't even concentrate because I'm thinking about who broke my heart. Some of you all are me having dreams. Could be having dreams about people. I'm going to show you like I was showing Aquarius. Get you a burning bowl. Write that the, the um, emotion attached to that or write their name down or maybe and or and toss it into a burning bowl and burn it. Burn it to a crisp, right? If you don't have a burning bowl, you can burn it in a sink, but be somewhere near water so you don't burn down anything. Music is going to help somebody. Somebody just needs to feel, have some feel-good music about them, some uplifting music, whether it's gospel music, whether it's some some country or opera or, or R&B or Latin music, something you need that's going to uplift your spirits and get all that negative energy, something that's going to have you up and dancing around the house if you can, you know, clapping your hands so that you can meet, uh, remove that stale energy from your house. But here we have the 37, and I'm talking about your spiritual house as well as your physical house or whatever space you're in. 37 reduces to 10. 10 is the number of instant manifestation. Somebody needs to instantly manifest wealth in their life, and I'm talking about big money, a perfect alignment in your workplace so that your mood of being heartbroken won't cause you to be moody at work dealing with your colleagues. Remember, it's a job, but you don't want to cause any un, um, unnecessary drama there. And also, um, instantly manifest new love in your life, people around you, friendships, romantic relationships that's coming across your life that won't break your heart, that won't keep rejecting your kindness and your sweetheart energy, right? But again, somebody's going to have to take it all the way back to childlike faith and put their hands together and say, listen, God, just have a conversation with God. Just seriously go boldly before the throne of grace and just ask God, listen, God, listen, you know how heartbroken I've been. When I see the three of swords twice, somebody has really been feeling that rejection real strong. Like I gave my all to people and they rejected me. I was too, I was too fat. I was too skinny. I wasn't light enough. I was not dark enough. I was, my hair didn't look a certain kind of way. My body shape wasn't that, wasn't whatever. I'm not talking to just women. I'm talking to men too. You know, I didn't make enough money. It was always a problem. Somebody always had some kind of issue with you, but it wasn't an issue when they were receiving, you know, your kindness and your goodness and your determination to make the relationship work. Cut them loose. Cut them loose so that you can now create space. This is all God needs you to do is cut them loose. We're creatures of free will. We're divine spirits who are having a human experience. Cut them loose, cancer, so that you can receive your actual person who loves and adores every single, single thing about you and won't try to take advantage of your money because they got their own money. They've been going through their own growth. And they are also deeply compassionate 
towards you. They don't have a problem with going sitting down somewhere near a body of water with you so that you all can recharge, whether it's you by yourself or them by themselves or together, to just recharge and relax and just laugh and enjoy yourself so you can continue being a high vibrating cancer. But that's what I have for you. Again, look at the bigger picture. Look at expansion right? Look at expansion and good luck. Get ready to receive some goodness because you put it out there in the universe. That's what I have for you, Cancers. I'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.